Michael recalls how April the 16th began peacefully. Michael is not his real name. The activist has to protect his identity. On that day in April, he joined many others in a protest against the imprisonment of those who oppose the government in Gambia. Security forces broke up the protest violently, and 30 protesters were sentenced to three years in prison. We don't have freedom and the right to express your ideas and other feelings in this country anymore. Now there's Olivia's in this country. Still now they are still sergeant people. If you are part of them and, or if you are saying anything on Facebook or in any other social media, they always make sure they capture you and then they, they take you. Nobody will know wherever you are. President Yahya Jameh rose to power through a coup 22 years ago. And he often makes menacing headlines with his threats to kill homosexuals, to expel overly critical diplomats, or withdraw Gambia from the International Criminal Court. Jame has already won numerous elections, but observers and the opposition regularly say that the proceedings are dubious. In the upcoming poll, two candidates are running against Jame, and for the first time, also a large alliance of opposition groups, led by Adama Barrow. He promises more freedom and an end to fear in Gambia. The president, I think he have taken this country backwards. We haven't done much for this country. If you look at the infrastructure in 1975, it's even better than now. Road network in the, in the capital is very, very bad. Situation, the situation is deteriorating seriously in this country. We need a change to forge ahead. Gambia's revenues mostly come from agriculture and tourism. But young people here complain about a lack of prospects. Every year, hundreds leave with the goal of reaching Europe. President Jame and the ruling party reject the massive criticism of human rights organizations and the opposition. Gambia, they say, is well on the way, and after ruling 22 years, the president is still the right person for the job. Jame's supporters say he has made advancements in health and education. They deny that there is a climate of fear or suppression of oppositional voices, a criticism leveled at the government by Human Rights Watch. It's wrong. There is no, there is no suppression on oppositions here in this country. But we know the die is cast, knowing our people behind us, and they are still in support of the president. We know come December 1st, we'll be the victor. We know about that. We are, not, we are not worried about that. The only thing that we are worried of is for our percentage not to go down, but to increase. President Jamey may well garner more than 72 percent of the vote in the election, says the activist Michael, because of the intimidation tactics being used. But he will not give up. This activist will continue to fight peacefully for change.